thank you very much for coming in today. Oh, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Take care. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, It's all right. I'll sure. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Right. Have you changed jobs? No, oh, you feel well if you don't give us a hand. What's this all about, anyway? Do you remember Mrs. Proudfoot? What, tall Scottish lady? Oh. Has three dogs. And it's pullovers for them. <laughs> yeah, she's pregnant. Or pregnant women, you know, they don't just uh, go to sleep. They have to adjust things to make themselves comfortable. So my wife, she sleeps with 13 pillows all around her. There's no such thing as good service. Only personal service. You know, you've got that mystery appointment today. I know. I know, I know. Uh, look here, Mr. Uh, Vincent. Funny, I'd have sworn you'd beat type two, but you got type one. Anyway, the bottom line's the same. This is serious stuff. People die. They're talking major risk factor of heart disorders, stroke, blood pressure, even blindness. So th there are two ways we can deal with this. You can be a good patient or a bad patient. You can ignore it. Carry on smoking, drinking, eating the sort of rubbish people eat nowadays, lap up all that stress they give you at work and die. Or you can look on the bright side. Complete change of lifestyle will probably be the best thing that's ever happened to you. All my good patients say that. Look, you're grown up. Adjust. You watch what you're eating, what you're drinking, you start exercising, you don't forget the shots and you go on living happily ever after. Because this is forever. Oh, you know that, don't you? And you mustn't worry. This is the UK. We're the best set-up country in the world for this sort of thing. There's an association you'll join. And here's the number. You will join them, and they'll teach you everything. Now, about the shop. Now, about the shots. They're called... Pen. Patients used to have to nowadays, mix them and stuff before. Very easy them. nowadays. But you mustn't forget that we don't want you to go to fainting. 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 Just. Because this is forever. Oh, you know that, don't you? we just, you know, once in a blue moon, maybe sit wherever we want to? Why? What's wrong? Yes, why? Yeah. Is this about the doctor? Yes, sweetheart. Daddy had his appointment today. Look, you're going to have to tell us sooner or later, and you're just making me worry more with all this delay. All right. All right. All right. I've got diabetes, OK? Well, it's no big deal. Lots of people have it. I'll just be um, making some adjustments. So when will you get better? Poppet, that's not how it works with this kind of problem. So you mean it's like forever? Stella, Daddy will be fine. He'll have a medicine that he'll have to take very regularly. But besides that, he'll have no problems. He'll be normal. So if he's not going to get better, does that mean he's now disabled? Well, um, OK. Sort of, I guess. But it's not like he can't um, walk. Kathy's or... grandma is and she's got a parking space outside the house. Yes, I know. But Kathy's grandma has arthritis. She can't walk very far. So we won't get a parking space outside the house. I'm not disabled. 
Don't ever say that to me, and I sure as hell don't need sympathy. can make a decision now. Ali Dondi is your man. It's the guy with the limp from this morning, isn't it? He's also very enthusiastic. Charming, well-mannered, witty, and speaks three languages. Concierge. It's hard work, you know? I'm worried if he'd be up for it. He's very enthusiastic. I'm sure he is. It's just... We know, it's such a front-of-house kind of a job, and... Which is why it's good that he's charming, well-mannered, witty. I heard you the first time. Is everything all right? Yes. I just think I should consider seriously before employing somebody. Especially if he's disabled. What are you saying? Alan. Alan, I've got manic depression. <laughs> manic depressive? You never told me. I don't like talking about it. Well, don't give me that. I'm your friend. I'm your boss. You have to tell me. I don't, actually. But the point is, would you have given me the job if I did tell you? Of course I would. Well, obviously, there are considerations. Precisely. Like with Ali Dondi. Oh, that's completely different. How so? I... You're great at your job. You're, you're a fast learner. You don't... Don't what? I don't look disabled, do I? Well, that's good, cos neither do you. Anna called. I'm sorry. It's no big deal. I mean, it's nothing compared to... Someone like me. It's all in the mind, Alan. <laughs> no pun intended. I mean... It is what it is. And you just get on with it. You'll still do some of the things everyone else does. And some things you'll do differently. Me dad's got it. You're one big healthy family, aren't you? <laughs> you better call Stella. She's very upset. I know. And you better call... Ali Dondi. Thank you.